from his papa. There's a huge booming diagonal towards Nditi, but uh, didn't manage to keep the ball. Now it's for Ruse to Baker. Near side, it's Nditi. Good ball in towards Farouz and just too close to Remy Matthews. Yeah, good play. Good. Kane. Swift. Now Aki. That's a lovely surging run and what a through ball for Piazon. Brilliant save. Farouz following up, not able to get there first. Brilliant from Chelsea, that. Much, much better was Chelsea to get on the ball with confidence. Um, followed by Nditi, but uh, to no one in particular. He's out of position as Rhys Hall Johnson charges down the right. And Loza, brilliant save by Jamal Blackman. Chelsea with a man down in the penalty area. How after that? And then see what happens. Then we squeeze in through midfield, just occasionally, just to change things from the way the game's been flowing. Well, Piazon thought he'd given it away, but uh, Lewis Baker worked so hard to get it back, just didn't get the curl on the strike. Do you know what? He's unlucky here, Gary. I think he's done really, really well, in, and the, the field in front of him has opened up. Been, uh, I think they'd have roommates. The first team don't do that anymore, but uh, I think they had roommates, and it's good to talk about things that they're expecting to happen during the evening's match. It's Farouz just leaving that one, and sip through for Todd Kane, brilliantly done round the goalkeeper, couldn't get his shot away, he's looking for a penalty, he's not going to get one. Andy Matthews does really well, the goalkeeper. Again, Chelsea probing, the Kumu. Kane. Keep it moving. He has on. This is nice, Chaloba. Well, it's on target, isn't it? He's comfortable for the goalkeeper in the end, and not much of a test for him. But yes, and Kumu. To a faint. He has on. And for Adam and Diti. Early ball in towards Farouz. Well, brilliant. All that was lacking was the finishing touch there. I think he may have been just offside. Yeah, some dead balls on both sides. I tend to feel that in general play, no one has really threatened enough. And it would probably be a mistake that uh, secures the goal. Here's a chance. Here's Farouz. Well, he got on his left side. And uh, Taylor McKenzie came across. That's swept away by Barker. The crowds for matches of this nature. No foul there. Comfortable for Jamal. Yeah, he's gathered that well. It's taken a deflection. It's bounced up nicely into his chest. And he's in the right position. It's Kane. Now Baker. Wide by Piazon to Nditi. It was all good until the final ball in, wasn't it? Adam's got the ball back, though. Maybe he can make something happen now. Swift. Well, straight at the goalkeeper. Well, at least it ended with a shot on target, Gary, which is good to see. You know, we pass the ball. Should have did well against McGeehan. Here's Swift at the other end. Now Baker. Chaloba up to Piazon. Promising. Chaloba didn't take the ball with him. Dieter's done well to win it back, though. That's a good challenge. Baker, Farouz. Just blasted by Lewis Baker. Well, it's running quite sweetly for him. I think he's... Uh... There's a danger here that the game's opening up. Well, let's hope it does. As I said earlier, I think if it opens up, it's got to be in our favour. Chaloba, out to Adam and Dieter. Piazon, Swift, Piazon to Nditi, lovely move, and before Farouz could get to it, it was shoveled behind the corner. Better again, you know, better football bias. Okay, 
and Chelsea put one of these chances away. Kane. He has on. Space for Ndidi, far side. Wasn't found. Ball just got stuck under his feet. <laughs> Adams made a good run down the left-hand channel. Chaloba. He'll get it this time. Ndidi, first time. Baker. That's well, so unlucky, you know, again, good football. Make sure we get the ball out to Adam and Ndidi. Again, his first time ball in's decent. He's done really well to creep out of trouble there as well. Chaloba dispossessed. Yeah, that's one of those where you just feel Nathaniel needs to pass. Doesn't need to make a run there. He's got bodies in and around him to help him with support. Loza. Out to Murphy. Murphy. Well, he gets his shot away, doesn't he? And got a pass in from Loza. Murphy eventually scoops it up. Clunan takes. Jamal doesn't come. Oh, what a good save. What a good save that was because he started to come, changed his mind, and was backpedalling as the header came in. Well, he just held your breath, and you? Just thought that this was the opportunity, this was the one chance. He comes into no man's land, to be honest, Jamal, but what a reaction. Makes up for his error. I thought he should have come. Once you came, he can... A great deal of luck in front of goal. And talk about luck in, in many ways. People say, well, you earn your luck, and you work hard to, to attain your luck. Well, maybe there's not been enough of that. In certain areas, but here's Josh Murphy away from Kane, but brilliantly taken. Another save from, from Jamal Blackman, and then that was a very important interception as well from Swift. But Jason Dobson tonight, McGeehan finding Murphy, good skill. Josh Murphy bearing down on goal, good save by Jamal Blackman once again. That's a decent save, isn't it? I mean, it's one of those you have to get your body behind it. Be fair to the... The last three minutes. Top below. Fast. Swift. Left back weighing up his options. So through to Hall Johnson. Straight to the goalkeeper again. Well, they're threatening, aren't they? Every now and then when they break forward, they're getting shots away on target. The goal's enough and... Tend to feel that the penalty shootout is probably the, the best option for both sides. And a penalty shootout it will be. And a decision needs to be made now as to who is going to take them. Josh Murphy twice going close in extra time. But neither side could find a way through. And it will be a penalty shootout. At the end of extra time, it's Norwich nil, Chelsea nil. Matthew's made some good decisions as well on his save making throughout the game. So both goalkeepers, you have to say, in decent form. This is when it's uh, all down to making well, the right decision or maybe a lucky decision by going the right way. Norwich City to go first with Cameron McGeehan. Very uh, purposefully strode up to the referee and grabbed the ball. I was doing all the mind games here, making him wait and taking as long as he possibly can. I've been watching some of the big goalkeepers around the world. The referee just making sure Jamal is right on his line. Well, the good thing is he's, he's such a huge size. It makes you think when you take the penalty, you have to be really accurate. McGeehan first up. Great start for Chelsea. The woodwork is still rattling. Well, there we talk about the pressure of taking penalties. Greater in an FA Cup competition and pressure got to McGee in there. He got confident enough walking up to the penalty spot, but it's right underneath the ball. As we see, it comes off the underside of the crossbar. Jamal goes the right way. Isn't ever going to save it, but there's bounce clear. Chelsea with a slight advantage. Like a mini break, isn't it? In a tie break, Nathaniel Chaloba goes first for Chelsea and rolls it home with consummate ease. One nil Blues. Well, just when you need a man to step forward, super finish by Nathaniel into the bottom corner, sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. That's a super little penalty, just takes a little bit of pressure off the next penalty takers. Still a bit to do.
long way to go in this shootout. It's going to be Josh Murphy for Norwich next. Brilliant save by Jamal Blackman. The perfect start to this shootout for Chelsea. Well, he's gone the right way, hasn't he? When we say go the right way as a goalkeeper, if you make that decision and the penalty isn't the best, this is a good height for him. There we sit, three or four feet off the ground. If the goalkeeper goes the right way, often they will make that save. Lucas Piazon, 17-year-old Brazilian. This is an important one, isn't it? Wouldn't it be nice to put this one away? This for 2-0. Well, he slid it home under the outstretched arm of Remy Matthews. Brilliantly taken again. It's a super finish, isn't it? Really a top quality finish, this. Just bides his time, knows where he's putting the ball and drives it into the bottom corner. Goalkeeper, though, going the right way. Proves that, you know, if you get the ball on the floor and put it in with lots of pace, goalkeeper will never get down to make the save. Remember, this goalkeeper for Norwich is a Chelsea supporter. And that one is in. Jason Dobbs. Norwich on the board. Yeah, that's a good finish. Jamal time. Sweetly struck into the top corner. Still the advantage with Chelsea though. So now Alex Kiwomia. Six goals this season. Against Remy Matthews. No problem. 3 1. Yeah, good finish by Alex. Nice and tidy. And sends the goalkeeper the wrong way and slots it into the back of the net. So we saw Cloonan score Norwich's last penalty. Jamar Loza, their number nine. Needs to put this in, and does. Again, a nice tidy finish. Rosa, as often you expect your centre forward to score, don't you, from the penalty spot. Doesn't always happen. He tucks this one away nicely. Now, if Chelsea score this, they are through. No pressure. Well, he looks not so relaxed, doesn't he, Lewis? Lewis Baker against Remy Matthews for a place in the fifth round of the Youth Cup. Oh, brilliant! How composed was that? Chelsea are through to the fifth round. A big London derby against West Ham awaits. Lewis Baker with a magnificent penalty to seal the victory. Absolutely brilliant. Is it tidy, composed, controlled? Lovely little slotted penalty, sends the goalkeeper the wrong way again. Some good, good penalties by Chelsea this evening. Well, on the penalties alone, I guess we deserve to go through, Gary. And as a, as a contest over 120 minutes, not a lot between the two sides, not enough action in front of goal, but on the final penalties, you have to say we did, did deserve it. The perfect shootout, really. Magnificent save from Jamal Blackman to deny Josh Murphy. Chelsea scored all four of their penalties in the shootout. Chaloba, Piazon, Kiwomia, and the final one from Lewis Baker, which was, was absolutely brilliant, Clive. Well, it was. I mean, it just looked so easy for him, didn't it? And under pressure, he just slots it home. Lovely little finish. Really deserving of the win, but I think talking about taking penalties, the guys have really come home tonight. After two hours of goalless football, Chelsea were superb in the penalty shootout, and it's seen off Norwich. They're three to round five, 4-2 on the shootout.